Thank you, everybody, and welcome to today's handover ceremony for ICT in education and our village tourism program, which form part of our bilateral agreement with Taiwan in terms of support for certain areas in St. Lucia's development. I would like to start by inviting our ambassador to give an overview of the donation that is taking place today, followed by presentations by the various entities. Ambassador? First of all, I want to express my sincere appreciation for uh, Pr Prime Minister and Cabinet Secretary uh, joining us uh, last week in our uh, National Day uh, reception. Uh, that's, uh, I think, a uh, testimony of uh, St. Lucia's support for Taiwan. And as I mentioned before, on many occasions, Taiwan is committed to work with the government of St. Lucia to achieve a United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goal. I think uh, today's uh, ceremony is an uh, affirmation of our commitment. And uh, among all the uh, different sectors uh, impacted by the COVID-19, uh, I think education is one of the most affected. And uh, it's never easy for teachers and students to uh, cope with uh, this change, uh, this uh, challenge. And I think with the uh, Smart Classroom Fund, uh, we provide some support uh, for the students and the teachers uh, to uh, adapt uh, that uh, impact. And uh, uh, likewise, tourism industry is experiencing the most difficult time ever. And we are also glad to be able to uh, strengthen uh, the village tourism promoted by the government of St. Lucia uh, through this uh, village tourism initiative. And in Taiwan, we also promote similar um, project, which is one village, one product, and uh, also emphasize the uh, benefit uh, contribution of local development to uh, people and also to the economy. I think we will both get through this tough time uh, with all this uh, sound policy being implemented. I want to quote from uh, President Tsai Ing-wen's National Day speech that just like everything Taiwan has experienced over the past 71 years, hardships have forged our resilience and challenge have inspired our resolve. This pandemic can consolidate a sense of unity among Taiwanese and give us the courage to continue forward. And likewise, I have witnessed the courage of St. Lucians facing and fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's keep moving toward the light. Thank you. First, let me apologize on behalf of my minister. She suffered a minor injury, and I'm wishing her a speedy recovery, and she's unable to be here with us this morning. But on behalf of the Ministry of Education, once again, we're here thankful to the government and people of Taiwan for making the Ministry of Education and our strategic initiative, our strategic priority of ICT, integrating ICT into education a priority. I must thank too the Prime Minister and his team in Cabinet for recognizing the importance that ICT plays, especially in this current environment, and having ratified our ICT in education policy in 2019, I mean, this policy really set the foundation for what we're doing today. And for that, I most definitely thank the ambassador for making this generous contribution towards our initiative, and it would most definitely support our plans as we look to integrate ICT into education. The development of our various smart classrooms will definitely ensure that our students receive the kind of technological exposure required to allow them to function effectively in this current 21st century. Thank you very much. Mr. Ambassador, um, on behalf of the people of Ancillary Canneries, and on behalf of the people of St. Lucia everywhere who have now become business people in the tourism industry in their own right. My government is filled with profound thanks to the deep and strong support that you continue to give to our country, whether it's in village tourism, agriculture, or whether it's in ICT development. And our gratitude, really, words cannot express our profound appreciation for your country's commitment to our development. And I'm sure that um, the Prime Minister, when he speaks, will join me in saying that please express our deepest appreciation to your government and to your people for your continued support to the advancement of St. Lucia. Um, the Village Tourism Project 
is one that is going to revolutionize the industry in St. Lucia. In that, what it does, it revolutionizes the product. Um, it gives people more diversity in the places that they can stay. Um, and then it also provides an opportunity for small business people in St. Lucia to be able to provide that service. What we've had to do is to um, look at the issues, the gaps, and I want to thank the Prime Minister for his vision um, in, first of all, reimagining our cooperation agreement. We sat, um, I think it was a year or two ago, and said that um, while a lot of our cooperation agreement tended to go in areas um, of infrastructure, that maybe it can have a, a bigger bang and impact if we also invested in the sporting infrastructure and the tourism infrastructure of the country, which is the engine of growth of our economy. And I want to thank the Prime Minister for his insight for reimagining how we um, appropriate those funds. And a simple philosophy was underlined that if we use these funds effectively for sustainable development, then we would have lasting change on the lives of the people of our country. Um, and so in looking at some of the gaps that exist for people to get involved, we realize that a small business person with one bedroom doesn't have incentives. And so now with our village tourism initiative, that individual now has incentives um, available to him as if he were a large hotel. We look at the fact that a lot of small businesses have challenges in um, accessing credit from lending institutions. We had a, an agreement with the Caricom Development Fund and we were able to make available to the development bank so that they can be more flexible lending terms to unlend to tourism businesses, small tourism businesses, which sometimes can be perceived as risky by the traditional lending sources. But more importantly is the wide array of technical assistance that we will be giving to these small businesses and the setting up of an entity that will be able to execute management services across the spectrum from interior design to um, HR development, marketing support, reservation management and all the um, needs that are required to run a successful hotel today is now going to be made easier for small tourism businesses uh, to be able to get that support from the overarching body, Village Tourism Incorporated. So um, I am very elated with what's happening and your contribution, no doubt, is going to add significant value and I have nothing but thanks um, to say today. So thank you. Um, and thanks to your people and your country again. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure once again to stand here as we focus on the development and the building of a new St. Lucia to see the contribution that Taiwan continues to make in terms of the realization of the full development plan for St. Lucia. While we've come under heavy criticism sometimes over our approach towards um, ICT in schools, for example, while some people felt that just a computer or a laptop handed over to a student would accomplish what we need in the technology that is required, we have a completely different vision where it is the equipping of the schools and the students alike that would meet this objective. And not just the equipping of the device, but of the curriculum and all of the other material that comes with it. The Smart Classroom Initiative is something that is needed in every school. And I think the contribution today of about just a little over five million EC dollars would go a long way in helping the Ministry of Education to better prepare the schools 
to have the type of smart classrooms that are required, more so to help in the initiative of having to do a lot of instructions online. Students now having to do exams via the computer rather than necessarily being invigilated in a, a setting where it's paper exams that are being done. So we see that this initiative is just another step in the direction of where we want to be eventually. And while some people speak about smart city, our focus is that of a smart country. Because we need every sector of St. Lucia to be able to have access to technology, whether in the schools, in the business places. I expect eventually even our market vendors would be able to use the technology to their advantage, to advertise their products, so that even before I go to the market, I can know what product is available for sale at the market. And, and that is what technology affords. Having smart classrooms and allowing our children to be exposed at the earliest stage in their development and education would help us to realize this. Also, village tourism. As was indicated um, in our plans, that the intention is to start with three of the villages as models to be replicated, not in the exact manner, but in terms of the uniqueness of each of the villages in St. Lucia. So that when a visitor comes to St. Lucia, the experience they will have in Ancillary would be different from what they have in Grosily. And because they've been to Grosily would not mean that they have experienced everything there is in St. Lucia. They would have a different experience in Schwazel and Labri and Mikud. And, and that is the idea of village tourism really adding to the value of the experience of a visitor in St. Lucia. So it will go beyond just visiting the pitons and the sulfur springs, but it would be being able to spend a night or two in one of these villages where the facilities, the accommodation and everything is up to standard. So I applaud the, the Prime Minister and the Minister of Tourism for the vision that has been laid out for us as a country and to inspire the people of St. Lucia to begin to believe that we can do much better than where we are today. And once people would come into this, then it is going to be realized. The bulk of this expenditure um, under the village tourism which is in the region of 5 million plus, would also go to the village of Ancillary, where the focus of village tourism will take a new shape in the village of Ancillary. Part of it will be spent in Grosily, but the major part of it would be for the village of Ancillary. Because we look forward to the transformation of this village to improve the livelihood of the people. And so, Ambassador, we want to give you the assurance that every dollar that Taiwan makes available to St. Lucia is put into very good use and will eventually begin to bring returns for the people of St. Lucia to generally improve the lives of all of our people. And we are indeed very grateful and we continue to ask of you to convey our sincere thanks and gratitude to the government and people of Taiwan for such a wonderful relationship and for the contributions that have been made and continues to be made to our development. All in all, we thank you and may God bless all of us. So it really is for me, Ambassador, to, to re, restate 
um, my government's appreciation for the friendship and the partnership that we've established with your country. And you made mention of your 71 years of, of history and tough times. And St. Lucia um, shares those experiences with you. And that's why when Sir John first went to Taiwan, he wanted to have a relationship with Taiwan because he saw a tremendous amount of similarity in terms of work ethic, values, and certainly the strategy you had for developing your country based on a foundation of agriculture. And this is something that's very similar that we're attempting to do in St. Lucia. And like what you have done in developing into agro-processing and now into the technology industry, semiconductors, um, we are also in the process of transitioning. So tourism uh, will be for a very long time a key industry in our country and it's certainly to continue to develop a product that persons would have an appreciation for built on the authenticity um, and the originality of our, our countrymen and the beautiful island that the Lord has given us. So to President Tsai and also to Minister Wu, I thank you very, very much for what you have done and continue to do and to be reassured of my government, my cabinet and also the people of St. Lucia's support in your endeavors in the world. And we're looking forward to having you at the table very soon. Thank you.